Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will briefly review multi-channel analysis of surface waves method, which is also known as MASW method and is widely used in engineering and environmental studies. The MASW method has numerous applications, including understanding soil stiffness, mapping bedrock, and void detection. The method comprises of three main steps. The first step involves data, which is typically obtained in the field by generating surface waves and recording with an array of geophones. In the absence of field measurements, we could generate synthetic data to understand the waveforms or to learn about the steps involved in the data analysis, which is the case in this video. The second step involves extraction of dispersion curves. And in the third and final step, we invert for shear wave velocity from the picked Rayleigh wave modes on the dispersion curves. As I said in the last slide, we perform 3D elastic waveform modeling with free surface condition to generate and record surface waves, and then focus our analysis on the vertical component of the recorded wave field. The source in the synthetic experiment has a dominant frequency of 16 Hz, and we use 100 receivers in a line to record the wave field. The geophone spacing is one meter. In practice, we often apply a pre-processing step which involves muting bad traces or applying masks to focus on the relay wave part of the record to improve the analysis on the field data. However, we don't do that here and use the full waveform record in the next step. As the purpose of this video is to walk through the data analysis pipeline and not optimize the processing. The next step, as I said, requires transforming data to generate dispersion curves, which is a plot of phase velocity versus frequency. We can use any of the FK method, tau p method, or the phase shift method. However, we have used tau p transform to generate this dispersion curve image. We now have to pick the energy peaks on the dispersion curve. Typically, the fundamental mode Rayleigh wave is analyzed, but other higher modes, if available, can also be picked and used in the inversion process, which is the next step. The inversion process is iterative. So we start with an initial VS model along with thickness, density, and velocity values. In our case, we are using a particle swarm optimization algorithm. So here we are providing the lower bound and upper bound for the model values. We use the stiffness matrix method to generate the theoretical dispersion curve and compare with the one we picked. Our goal is to minimize the error between the two, so we update our model in the next iteration and repeat the theoretical dispersion curve generation and comparison process. We keep doing this until we reach a reasonable fit between the model and picked mode. Here, I am only demonstrating the process, so I did not spend much time in improving the results. However, in practice, we can carefully review the initial model and constraints during inversion and also incorporate prior knowledge of the local geology and other relevant information. Finally, if we have more profiles, we can interpolate the corresponding 1D inversion results to generate a 2D or 3D subsurface image of VS distribution. This concludes the brief overview of MASW data analysis. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.